how does VAs benefit you and your business? Absolutely, like we could even exit our room <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, right now we have customers in forty countries, right? Man, so that's thousands crazy. of customers. So imagine trying to run everything around. Exactly. Home. So we use VAs a lot uh, in multiple countries that help us to run our operations. You know, so yep. without VA we would not be able to run our operations. That's how important it is. What's going on, you guys? Welcome to the Digital Empire Podcast, which you already know and love. We are here again today to talk about how you can scale and like literally build and systemize your business like any other, like y'all wanna get to six or seven figures, right? Well, I got a person here who's literally changing the game that is going to tell you exactly the steps on how he created his first six to seven figures and how he was able to scale it to the heights and new heights that he's about to get to in the next 12 months. So my man, how you feeling? Good, you good? man, good to see you. I love it, I love it. So I, I know you're, you're new to this podcast. I wanna make sure that you get as much value from here as possible. And I wanna make sure that the audience gets as much value as too. Uh, so I wanna go ahead, you know, introduce yourself, tell them a little bit about yourself and what you do. Hey, thank you so much for having me. I'm Oye Abraham. I'm the founder and CEO of Bonza. Bonza is the only one platform to run online businesses. Mm. So before Bonza, an entrepreneur would need like multiple tools, sometimes 10 tools to run their business online. So what we did was that we put all the tools an entrepreneur need in one place. Yep. So whether it's your website, your funnels, your marketing, your online course, all in one place. So that's pretty much what we do at Bonza. I love it, man, I love it. Now, what's crazy is, I'm just now getting to the SaaS space, right? We okay. are just now creating our own, like, tech department, software engineering department. And I actually, and, and what's crazy, I actually want to get your advice since you're here. Yes. Right? So, and I'm and, and on this podcast, sometimes I like to be a little selfish. I don't know, <laughs> I, I'm just being real. I'm going to be a little selfish on here. So I want to ask you, what are the different types of positions you need in order to create a, a software, uh, something like that? Because even on, on this podcast, like I said, we talk about digital investments and entrepreneurship. And some of the investors that are out there, sometimes they want to create their own platform, their own yeah, software. Right. And, and they might not know a way to go about it. So how exactly do you, like what positions do you take or need or what do you need to get into the space? Very good question. Now, if you're talking about software in particular, mm -hmm. you're going to need to, uh, you need developers, of course. you need engineers, uh, you need a marketing team, you need uh, customer service, right. uh, you need customer support. You need fraud pre prevention. Right, so right, you need right. a whole lot of stuff to really run the software company well. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that is good about what you guys do is that you guys help business entrepreneurs to grow faster yep. by using VA. You yep. know, and so you know to have a software company, you're gonna need a VA. You're gonna need VA to help you run everything because mm -hmm. you can't run it all. Absolutely. It's not like by yourself. It's not like running a mom and pop shop or trying to, you can't run a software company as a one-man person. Absolutely. So you're gonna need a team to help you to run and scale it. Absolutely. So now, since we're on the amazing topics of VAs, how does VAs benefit you and your business? Absolutely, like, we could even exit our run. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, right now we have customers in 40 countries, right? Man, so thousands crazy. of customers, so imagine, trying to run everything on our exactly. own. So we use VAs a lot uh, in multiple countries that help us to run our operations. You know, So yep. without VA, we would not be able to run our operations. That's how important it is to have not just VAs, but the right VAs, right? Absolutely. And the right vetted VAs, right? Yes. Like what you guys do, you guys vet VAs before they are placed, right? So you take out that risk of trying to just get somebody online and you don't even know if they're good or not. Absolutely. But you guys help to vet everything to make sure that the right people is placed in the right place, which is really so cool. Man, which is which is amazing, man. Like vetting is something that is so crucial. So I was reading this book um, and you might be familiar with it. It's called Who, right? And that was, that book changed my whole life when it comes to like, especially in the recruiting space, it's all about who you know, not how you can get things done. Yeah. Right? Like you want a thinker and not a doer. Yeah. So I was, I was, and, and especially in, in your space, 
how do you identify the who to get things done? As like recruiting as a VA wise, like how does that work? Good question. Really, it's been a try by error type stuff. Mm. You know, I wish I have a really good formula. Uh, we've had some bad ones and some good ones, but right. what have helped me now to kind of get some good people in our team, I try to get people that are passionate, people that have good work ethic, right. people that care about what they do, and not just those only the paycheck. Right. Because those in the paycheck, they just want a paycheck, right? So they, Man, they're working for what? the money, they don't care about your company, right? Write that so down. I try to find the right VAs that are passionate, loyal, and they, 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 they have a joy in producing things and making things and getting results, you know? So that's 100%. what I say I look for, yeah. Results. I'm glad you said that. Results is so important. Man, results is important. So in our business, we go by um, like no excuses, right? Like, like what are some, like that's some of our core values. So like what are some core values that you put within your business? Like especially because you have so many clients. So people have to get things done fast. Yes. Yeah. So like how are like what are some core values that you put in place in order to really sustain it at a high level? Very good. Like one of them is passion. Okay. Uh customer success, obsession yes. about customer success. Another one will be loyalty. Uh being a team player is right. good. Then also to ownership. We want people who own it. They feel like they, they own the company. They work like they own the company. Absolutely. Right? They, they take ownership of whatever their tasks or responsibilities are. Mm. Not just people who just, again, I run away or stay with people who want to just get a check. Man, that was powerful. What's going on, family? You guys already know I appreciate you for checking out this episode. So you guys know that I've been trading and building high-level skill sets for years now. You've seen me on my Forex journey my stock investment journey, my portfolio journey, a day in the life of everything. And so what I wanna do is I wanna give back to you. I wanna make sure that you all learn everything that's in my brain. So what I have done is specifically in regards to skill sets is I've created a course, uh, like a whole course. Like this is the best thing that I've ever come out with since sliced bread, <laughs> right? It's a Forex course on how exactly to build wealth create high level skill sets and I wanna teach it to you. I wanna give back. It's not even, like it's super affordable. Like you could, like your daughter could do it. Your, 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 a five year old could do it. And that's what I wanna help you guys do. I wanna give back to you. So if you wanna learn exactly how to help build high level skill sets, I want you to click this link right here. This link is going to break down everything for you and literally change your whole life. So go check it out. Check out the trade syndicate. Check out the way that we do things. Check out the chart slayer. Check out your boy. All right. See you on the next one. And I, I, you know what's crazy? I never knew how important that the ownership part that you were talking to probably until like, like we were doing it, but I don't think I consciously knew until maybe, maybe a month ago. Like we added that within our, like we revamped our core values maybe about a month ago, like or, or reaffirmed them is really what I would like to say. And ownership was definitely one of those core values that we added and we were just like because you have people who will just do the work but then you like you could tell the difference between someone who just does it and then someone who really owns it like the quality difference is different when you're when you're when you're having somebody that owns so like let me ask you this when because we're, we're at an event right now yeah like people who don't know we're at the uh invest fest uh conference it's big it's popping right now like it's totally i mean it's it's packed right now like, so how is your VAs working while you're working? Like, how did, how does that, how do you feel about having your business ran without you? Which is, which is the ultimate goal of being an entrepreneur anyway. Mm -hmm. You want to really be able to have your team to replace you so you can sure. have a life, right? So one thing that I really, very, I'm talking about that we have the right VAs and the right people on our team that helps me to run the business so that I can also have a life or focus on some other part of the business, right? 100%. But without the VAs, I'll be running 20,000 20, things and it's impossible to do so. So if you are out there and you want to really grow your business and have freedom for your time, you need to work with their company to get the right VAs to help place the right cost, the right team into your business. Absolutely, man, it's crazy. Man, that, 
I'm just appalled because we have about 20 to 30 now. I think we have, I think we have 28 to be more exact, VAs okay. in our company. How many do you have currently in your company running that amount of people? I mean, you have a lot of so clients. We have about 40 people on our team. Wow. Yeah, and that goes from VA to engineers, to developers, to wow. customer success, all around the world. Dang. So I'll have a client, and this is another selfish question, right? I have a client, and she is wanting to hire a customer success manager, right? And we don't specialize in customer success managers, right? This is, we're just being honest. Like, we do a lot of VAs. Like, we know what goes into a customer success. We can hire a customer success. We don't specialize in customer success, right? So those are our positions that we heavily dish out, like like an executive assistant or a social media manager or any of the basics. What are some key things that go into a customer success manager, maybe like KPIs or some things that are important in that space? Like how, like what are some tasks that are in a customer success manager? Okay, now customer success manager is different from being a customer uh, customer support specialist. Yes, right. So a customer success manager must be able to oversee the customer service team, uh, make sure they're doing their job, make sure that they stay encouraged because customer service is very hard. Right. People don't know that because many times you deal with very, very angry customers and your job is to pacify them, calm them down, help them to not cancel their membership and stuff. So it's very, very difficult to be a customer uh, service person. Absolutely. So a customer success manager have to also be like the big brother, big sister, calm them down, walk through them, and also ensure that they are doing their job as needed, right? And if they have any problem, they cannot, uh, when the customer rep cannot show up, they go to the customer success manager. Like people are like, I want to talk to your manager, I want to talk to your supervisor. That's what the customer success uh, manager also do as well, right? Okay. To, make, to be that extra level of customer support as well. So in an organization with at least five or six customer success reps, the customer success manager is going to be very, very busy. Man, man, I appreciate that, my man. I appreciate yeah. that. I really do appreciate you being on this podcast. It's changed. You even taught me some things. Like I said, we are getting in this software space and I know, and I believe, I. We, I'll get your contact information after this. I know that we'll need it because, like I said, we build in our own software as well. We might need, you know, might have some questions. But, my man, I appreciate you being on here. Like I said, family, this is the Digital Empire Podcast where we talk about everything digital investment and entrepreneurship. And you guys, you heard it from the best. This man is changing the game. He's scaling his business. He's doing everything that he's supposed to. And I want to make sure that you guys are too. So, you guys, I will talk to you in the next one. Peace out. Hey family, thank you so much for checking out this episode. I really, really do appreciate it. So I get this question a lot of, hey, how do you get your family on board on everything that you're doing? Your family's everywhere, you're traveling everywhere. This brand of family is huge. And so I wanna teach you guys how to create a family business and build a true legacy for your family. And in order to do so, if you wanna learn exactly how I do that, I want you to check out socialcurrencies.net slash family actually book a call, see exactly how we can assist you in creating wealth for your entire family and breaking that generational curse. We are strongly against generational curses and we wanna break generational poverty and build generational wealth. And not just wealth, but true wealth. And so I wanna help you guys go ahead, tap in. Again, the site is socialcurrencies.net slash family. And I will see you on the flip side.